Okay, so you want to carry those leaves you love from your country to another country. You guys, on this video, I'm basically going to be showing you and telling you how to do this and how to preserve it in that country when you get there for like three to four months. Do you get me? Okay, so you guys, make sure you stick around to this video, watch this video to the end. If you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Jemari Machuku. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to this big family. So today's video is actually how I traveled with like Nigerian leaves, like how I traveled with these leaves from Nigeria to the UK and how I'm able to preserve these leaves for like six months, you guys. The thing is, there are African stores where you can get these leaves. Like I said in my previous video on how to get in palm oil, if you've not watched that video, make sure you check that video up there. So like I said in that video, it's not like you're going to carry 10 liters of palm oil or you're going to carry 5 liters, but how you can get in the little that you can use for the main time before you now start buying the expensive ones. Do you get like buying the palm oil is expensive? buying these leaves they are expensive too except you now want to start adjusting to the leaves that they have in uk the spinach and all of them you get okay so how i did this is first of all this is scent leaf i'll start with the scent leaf so the scent leaf is just you just pluck you leave it in the sun for it to dry then it's just very strong then you put it in a ziploc bag that's all about the scent leaf and when you're laboring it in your ziploc bag you write the scientific name so that they don't ask is this weed or something because you can see it's looking like weed so you need to um, name the scientific name of that leaf that you're carrying you get that okay perfect so you pin up your ziploc bag to have it safe in the ziploc bag do you get so that's for the scent leaf and this is bitter leaf so what we basically did with this bitter leaf is you pluck your bitter leaf, you leave it in the sun the way the Anambra people does. You leave it in the sun after plucking it, then you wash the bitter leaf. Don't wash it like washing everything off. You wash the bitter leaf. After washing it, you now leave it to dry again in the sun, like leave it for weeks for it to dry. And you can see it's just very dried. I think I need to open this. It's bitter leaf, but it's actually very dried. You put it in your Ziploc bag or then you also label and when you're laboring don't just write dried bitter leaf you write the scientific name so that when you get to the airport or when they are checking you it doesn't look like you're carrying something abnormal you get or you're carrying weeds you understand so that is bitter leaf then i also have um okazi dried okazi leaf this is very straightforward okazi can last so you just get okazi you cut it also put in a ziploc bag then label and I couldn't get the botanical name of this. I just had to leave it there. It's just not looking like weed. So I just left it there. Then you put it in a Ziploc bag. If you wish, you can also still sellotape the Ziploc bag. Do you get? So that's about the Okazi. So these ones are the ones that you know can stay dried. When you get to the UK, you now put it in the fridge, not freezer. You put these ones in the fridge because they can still survive. Like that's how we even do it in Nigeria. Now, the ones that we know that... <laughs> The, you can't do this method for that's the ugu um the water leaf the oha and the uziza this is what i actually did i bought it like the morning of my journey because my flight was in the afternoon so i got it in the morning so the pumpkin leaf that's the ugu it actually had water in it like it was actually still wet it was fresh make sure you get fresh one please so it was fresh so i had to put it in fan so fan actually dried up the water i didn't slice it i just got it in like that and put it in the newspaper then wrapped the newspaper then put it in the ziploc bag do you get then label it as usual do you get that okay then for the water leaf i actually did the same thing the water leaf was actually still wet i also on the fan for the water leaf the oha the same thing i just um, put them into the the newspaper then wrapped the newspaper, then put it in the Ziploc bag. For all of them, it needs to be fresh and needs to be that morning or if you're traveling in the night, the, the afternoon or the evening before your journey. So if your journey is like a straight flight, no layover, the better for you. Nothing happens to it. But if your journey is like 
uh, one like you have two three layovers like my video travel vlog if you don't watch that video i'm going to link that video up for you go and watch that video how i had like three layovers like three connecting flights it was very helpful for me i'm sure that's why half of my oh got bad so that was it so when i got to the uk this is what i actually did i actually brought up the um like the second thing i did was i opened up this is the oha i opened up the oha then i had to select the ones that are good so this is the ugu you can see how the ugu is looking nothing actually happened to it as many i knew i would have brought in like plenty quantity of that ugu because nothing happened to it these are all the ugu then um this one is the um this is the Uziza, yeah, that's the Uziza. You can see how fresh it's looking, but you don't expect it to still look this kind of fresh, like say one month, one week. But I'm going to show you what to do in this video to make it look this fresh. So, this is the first leaf. This is the Ugu. I had to wash it off, I cut the Ugu, then kept it in the filter for the, um, the water to drain out of the Ugu. So, I actually did that for like the number of ugu that i brought in that's a lot of work you guys but what to do now then this is the um, uziza so for the uziza you do the same thing you just wash it off then you slice it then i just got small quantity of uziza like i still regret not bringing plenty because i'm actually using them very fresh here so i did that for the uziza and also put and um, put it in filter for it to drain out water then now this is the wahala work <laughs> the oha so i had selected the good one from the bad one you see the ones in the newspaper like the bad one so i just had to pluck it off like we do the oha so that's what i actually did and some people don't actually wash oha these are the bad ones you can see how painful it is <laughs> and these are the ones as if i know i've brought like plenty so that if the bad one is out i still have like much so but this one still lasted me for i think it's still lasting me you guys so after it's only me that is living i'm not coming with family but if you're coming with family please bring in plenty of all these things because they are very expensive so it's me just trying to cut out the um oha like we do then after doing that some people don't wash oha but i just had to do it like i just use um water i just squeezed it out and also kept it in filter like for it to still drain the water now this is the bitter leaf you know how to do your bitter leaf normal bitter leaf you just do all of that you after doing all of that the same process i just washed it and after washing i also had to cut this one and also put it in filter so that's basically what you do for everybody so after doing it for like the four leaves i put it in filter and left it to um drip our water then i brought in different packs like different um weatherproof or different nylon whatever you call it please then i wrapped it like the way i will use it to cook After wrapping it, I put it in the freezer. Guys, take notes. Not fridge. I know in the Nigerian mindset is okay. It's fridge. Please, it's in the freezer. And while you're wrapping it in like different um, bags, label the bag so that when you're coming, when you want to use it to cook, you don't need to defrost a leaf that you will not use. Like if it's ugu, label it ugu and put all the ugu in that bag. Then you put it in the freezer. Let it get blocked. Then when you want to use it, you just bring out one pack and use it to cook it's still very good you guys like that is how i like survive in this place before i start getting those leaves i've not bought leave as me and you as we were talking so i have enough of this and i'm not worried about what to do or what not to do so that's about how i survive with all these leaves so you guys i'm sure this video was very helpful for you so if this video was helpful and you've not subscribed to this channel or you've not liked this video you're not helping this girl grow you're not helping me grow and you're not also helping the youtube algorithm to suggest this video to other people that will be traveling do you get so for those of you that are traveling january traveling um in september you're traveling very soon for your studies or for your work visa whatever you're going to do outside the country this is how you can get in your leaves from your country or to that country that you're going to and this is how you can also preserve those leaves you get it okay i think this is where i'll end this video make sure you've checked out all the suggested videos that you're seeing on your screen and thank you for watching this video up to this moment <laughs> i'm very grateful just know that this girl is very grateful okay thank you guys have a wonderful day bye share this video